This tutorial is more like a quick tip for Adobe CS4 Illustrator um, and it's mainly for print designers who want to um, show their clients proofs of different business cards or greeting cards or whatever the case may be on one sheet of paper to cut down expenses really if you don't do it digitally. If you have an actual printout and you want the crop marks around the business card so you can put different ones on one sheet of paper. So let's get started here and let's go ahead and press Control N to bring up a new document here, dialog box, and I'm going to just choose a letter and press OK. And say we're going to make some business cards, so we want to draw out our rectangles and you can click once or twice I think in CS3 and let's go ahead and make the width three and a half inches and the height two inches and that's the size of a business card a standard business card and let's go ahead and duplicate this um, rectangle here by holding down alt and shift that will constrain and copy over and let's go ahead and hold alt and shift again a few more times to copy about eight business cards here and if you really wanted to be picky you can nudge these down and over actually I'm going to go ahead and nudge all these over one so they're lined up and all I have to do is go ahead and grab the column and come up here to distribute vertical and there you go and let's do the same thing for this side and there we go and you have your rectangles all nice and even you would then go ahead and fill in your designs um, I'm just gonna write design one here and then but you you get the point you would do your your card layouts in here and then you would go ahead and do this trick the trick is to highlight one column only at a time and then come up here to effect and crop marks and go ahead and do it for the other column crop marks and there you have it and unfortunately in CS4 I feel like they've taken a step backwards um, in CS3 you used to be able to delete your boxes if you wanted to and adjust these crop marks independently and really set them how you wanted to. In CS4, however, if you delete a box, you delete your crop marks. So don't do that. And instead, set everything to no stroke. And also, if you have a fill, don't have a fill. You don't want to fill there. Just make everything none and there you have it you have your crop marks and then uh, you would definitely have your designs in here and you would know where the end was um, or if you wanted to just cut out them you could bleed over it on the rectangle and then you still have your crop marks for cutting out later okay and just for kicks I guess I'll go ahead and show you the difference in CS3 in CS3, let's go ahead and make a new print document just like we did in CS4. And I'm going to go ahead and take a second to set up those same sizes. Uh, let's grab it, Alt, Shift, and there we go. Alt, Shift again. And let's grab all four of them and Alt and Shift. There we go and then you would do your design just like you did in CS4 and now comes the crop marks so let's take this left column actually in CS3 I'm sorry you can only do one at a time here so let's just go ahead and set up this first one and that will be it so under and not the effects under the filter menu go ahead under create and crop marks and CS3 is better in this area actually let me get rid of these so you can see it better 
Um, in CS3, it's totally awesome that you can independently adjust these crop marks. They come together as a group. You can ungroup them if you would want to, and then you have access to each individual crop mark. And you can change the um, color if you wanted to. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in here. And then you can change the stroke, and you'll definitely be able to see that. So that's how you do crop marks in CS3. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.